And um, hey, we've got other special things. Saturday is men's prayer breakfast. Want to invite all the guys to that. Uh, today we're actually, even though it's Father's Day, we're kicking off our summer series about the fruit of the Spirit. And uh, it'll be a little different kind of message, but I'm glad you're here for that. Uh, but we're going to also have coming up in just a, a week from this Tuesday for Area 51. Area 51 is for those who are in the 6th grade through 12th grade. Uh, we're going to Cedar Point. And I need to know if you're going so we can make the proper arrangements, okay? So if you can, let me know today. So if you're going into 6th grade or 12th grade, you know, well, if you're, if you're going out of... Well, we'll let you come if you want to, even if you're in a 12th grade going into college. But anyway, uh, we're going to be doing that. Uh, we want, want everybody to come. And then my last announcement is just simply this. You saw it up on the screen. It's Old Fashioned Sunday. <clears throat> That's just a few weeks away, probably about three or four weeks away. Old Fashioned Sunday, you need to come dressed old fashioned. And I don't know what that means to you. Well, some of you say, I'll just go to my closet and take what I usually wear. <laughs> but if you're not dressed old fashioned, you will get tar and feathered. No, I'm, uh, <laughs> no. What, what will, <clears throat> we will provide something old fashioned for you. All right, are you catching the drift here? It's kind of a dress up day. We want you to bring your old Bible. We, we want, we're gonna have a prize for the oldest Bible. Uh, we're gonna have a prize for the person who uh, has the best old fashioned. So uh, some of you guys can get out your leisure suits that you've been hanging in your closet for a while and, and uh, that kind of thing. Uh, some of you gals can get out your poodle skirts. I don't know. Well, old fashioned, whatever that means to you. Uh, but we're gonna have old fashioned Sunday. We're gonna sing some old fashioned hymns. Uh, actually, we're going to do something really neat with that. It's a little different. And then after that, we're going to have an old-fashioned picnic. All right. It's going to be indoors, though, just in case it rains. All right. And so the really old-fashioned, right? And then after that, we're going to have an old-fashioned hymn sing. And so you'll be able to just, like the old days, just call out your hymn number and we'll sing it. So it's going to be a really great day with a lot of prizes. There's going to be some old-fashioned uh, Bethany trivia. So you need to get geared up on Bethany's history, all right? So it's going to be just a, just a great day. And so we're trying to encourage everyone, participate that Sunday. Maybe you know somebody who's a long uh, friend of the church. You want to invite them that Sunday. It's kind of in the middle of the summer, and it should be a great, fun day. And, of course, we'll have an old-fashioned sermon. All right. So those are the things that are coming up. Check your bulletin out. And uh, we're going we're gonna to begin with worship now. Please stand. Father in heaven, we know that you are the everlasting God, the everlasting Father. You're the Father of eternity. You're the creator and sustainer of heaven and earth. You are our Savior. You are our God. You're the one who has said, look unto me all the ends of the earth and be saved, for there is no other God. Now, Father, we come before you today to worship you in our song. But we know that worship is far more than a song. And now we're going to worship you with our gifts. We call them offerings. Uh, we're giving them as believer priests unto you. Bless these gifts, O Lord. Multiply them. Use them for your glory. And may our witness through these gifts impact the world. Oh Lord, uh, globally through missions and right here locally through our church. Lord, I pray that you would receive them and, and then, Lord, use them that Jesus Christ might be honored and glorified. We give them because we love you. So bless, bless them, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen.
wonderful hymn that goes very well with Father's Day. Um, I like to do it on Father's Day, and I hope you'll enjoy it and sing along with me. Please stand. Let's sing Faith of Our Fathers. Father in heaven, we are very thankful for every father who is here today. We ask, O oh Lord, that your hand of blessing would be upon them. Uh, Father, that uh, they would just not be dads, not just good dads, not just great dads, but amazing dads. Oh Lord, we have requests uh, here for all that are separated from their dad that either are alive or in heaven today, or that there would be a specialness in the day for such a father. We have a request, O oh Lord, for his son-in-law, Jeff Palassi. His cancer has returned after 10 years. It's a request that we pray. please pray for Jeff. So we do, Lord. Lord, we have a, a praise Praise God that Cal Drones received a good report when she went to the doctors on Thursday. And also praise for Katie, a childhood friend. Um, there's uh, their daughter, Chrissy. We pray for her, Lord, although we don't know her circumstances. We ask for your blessing upon her. Lord, we have a request to bring my family closer together and to be a unit for my wife. We don't know all the details there again, Lord, you do. And we ask that you would exert your power from heaven to do all that's necessary. We're thankful that Sharon Bergman's with us. We pray, Lord, for her three broken ribs that you would bring healing. And may your blessings be upon uh, the Schulte's full house. Father, we pray for a family that uh, has suffered a, a loss. Jan. Uh, Meager, who passed away this last week from cancer. We pray for her, Lord. We pray for your comfort for the entire family. 
Lord, now we, we ask that your spirit would remove from our minds any distractions from the world. That we might give full attention to your word. And that your Holy Spirit would speak to our hearts today. For this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.